asked me about studying abroad, studying in Germany especially. Some of you want to come here and I'm going to make a short video just explaining some things, how it was with me. Uh, if you still have some more questions about this video, you can send me on priv, priv, <laughs> uh, or, or uh, you can write in comments and also if you don't agree with some informations, also please let me know and, and write in comments or tell, or tell me. So, uh, I'm gonna say more about studying in Germany because uh, I came here uh, to Germany on Erasmus, so I'm gonna say how it looked for me, uh, especially in music academy, in music school. Um, so, pluses and minuses of studying in Germany. Uh, first of all, huge plus for me is uh, meeting new international people. Um, being on Erasmus project, for example, like I was, or just coming, I think, for master or bachelor study to another country, uh, it's a super nice opportunity to meet new people who do, uh, who like also what are you doing, uh, and just after this you have. I would say more possibilities and um, you can travel more because you know some people from other countries they can help you so it's huge 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 plus for me um, second of all when you're coming to other countries study uh, the huge plus is uh, getting to new a new language and it takes I think super super easy and way way faster than normally in some courses because I had this uh, period when I came first, I was so tired after a after, uh, whole day and I didn't know why, because I didn't have so much classes like in Poland, uh, in my school, but after 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 whole day in house I was really sleepy weepy <laughs> and then I realized it's because all information, everything is in German, so you read everything in German, you see everything in German, you speak all the time with German, you hear everything in German, so your brain is just like calculating all of this. But it's also amazing because you can learn faster this language, because you listen like native speakers and, and you also have to speak sometimes with somebody, so you have to get rid of this, um, of being scared and just, um, and just talk with people. So it's another plus. Uh, next thing about it's huge plus I think in my case in a like a music academy in Germany comparing to in Poland I would say music academies here in Germany are way more professional and they think more about vocalists like it's a job you don't go it's my experience in Poland but um, I felt more that in Poland um, it's harder aria you sing oh that's so nice or like you just going to the studies but you don't have any you don't meeting agencies you don't meeting agents you don't meet like people from an industry you just sing and if you have lucky or if you have contact then you go uh, and here in Germany really they say you're this 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 is this is your age like your voice is like this uh, you should do this uh, they would like to hear you in this. So everything is kind of like focused on the work and that's amazing. I never felt it can look like this. So that's why I was regretting a little bit that I came here on my uh, last master year, but it turned out amazing. So I don't re I don't regret that much. Another thing I would like to say uh, about studying Germany as one of the reasons why I didn't came here earlier because I was scared it's going to be so expensive and I can't afford like living in Germany and studying here but all studies are free I think uh, what, I've, uh, what I've learned and what I've heard from people I think every studies for people from Europe are free so it's huge plus for us we don't have, we don't have to pay uh, of course one of the minuses uh, is uh, cost comparing to studying in your country and then in some other country in the west uh, um, yeah, it's probably more expensive, but when you live here and get some smaller jobs or like normal job and and I would say it's not, it's not that hard to find something to live comfortable. You can always live in a student's houses or in a, with some families, it's always cheaper. So I think in the beginning it can be hard, but it's, it's, 
it gets better. Um, I would say also that um, what I want to say. Yes, I would say that um, I feel in Germany here, especially in my music industry, in my uh, opera career. As I said, they look at you more like. Everybody can find a job, everybody can sing in opera or some theater on in choir. So you do um, those things which sound and which are really realistic. It's not just like some dreams or thinking about it. It's, real, it's, really, it's really nice here. You can be sure you'll find something. And I would say it's my experience also, but I know in Poland, if you have contacts and you have no voice, but you have contacts, it's possible sometimes they take those people somewhere and here in Germany if you have contacts of course like in other country it, it counts but if you don't have voice they won't take you I would say you need to have at least at least a little bit of technique and a little bit of voice so it's this big difference cultural and then educate education educative uh, difference mm. another question I had about the studies is how to find perfect music academy in Germany. Um, if you start to think about it, I would say the most important thing is professor. I think you shouldn't go, of course you can risk. No fun, no gain, no pain. You can try and just go to some school and you can find amazing teacher or you can find bad one and then not bad teacher but just teacher with, you, you don't have good contact with and then you can switch. But I would say the most important thing is a good teacher, if you know somebody from some school or you have some recommendation about some professor or you are in the courses with some professor, then you can ask him to give or her to give you some lessons um, and then you see how this person is teaching, do you have good contact, do you know what he means when he's saying about mushrooms above your head, like do you get, uh, do you get this, uh, his school of teaching. So I would say finding teacher is the most important and second thing is um, what would be mm. yes just um, get to know a little bit more about the cities where you want to go or people who are there and just try really don't be scared try anywhere you want um, another answer is uh, for the question is can you go after bachelor uh, for a master only, yes, I think that's no problem. Uh, you can come to Germany for bachelor and master, mm -hmm. and you can come only for master, or you can even come like me. I came for Erasmus for a half year, but it was so amazing here in Dresden that I stayed for another half year. Then I finished my school in Krakow, and, uh, and then I passed exams for master classes, so it was like diploma. Diploma studies is after studies kind of is only some di um, some diploma, so you still can develop your voice. You still you still can learn more. Yes, I would say that are the most important things. Um, one of the things I have in my head now is also this. Uh, here in Germany, people are really really good with documents, with papers, with like paperwork. Uh, so sometimes it takes time to prepare everything, to fill everything, to find every document you need. But um, if you if you're gonna do it, uh, then it's no problem. I would say it's just important to have all of your documents. What to have all everything what they want from you, what they need, um, just collect it and send to them. Um, I know there's also like many stipend <laughs> another topic uh, like coming to the costs again there is few stipendiums you can check uh, you can ask people or just type on the internet uh, I would say this country is very generous they give a lot of stipendiums for people comparing to Poland to my country I would say uh, you can find many stipendiums um, I had one or two um, so it's not that hard yes if you have any, sorry for for um, such a rush video, but I thought I'm gonna have more time to do it. I didn't, but I promise I will do it today. So, if you have any more questions, or you don't agree with something, or you want to know more about something, just let me know. And uh, 
Have a nice week. Thanks.